Hi and welcome to the channel. So if you saw my last video on the 36 key layout which works on the Moonlander, uh, you might wonder, as I did, how it translates to smaller keyboards like the Plank. Uh, basically I use the Plank and the Moonlander uh, interchangeably, so the layout I work with on the Moonlander does need to work on the Plank. And my first kind of iteration on this was just to chop the outer columns off the Plank um, and try and recreate it that way. Uh, but that doesn't work of course because the spacebar is just a single key on the plank whereas it's split uh, on both halves on the Moonlander. So my shift and space keys didn't fit like that. And uh, I just woke up one morning and thought, you know, I'm going at this the wrong way. I've just got to split it and move the two halves out on the plank. Um, and people do this, you know, I've seen this layout before and they normally put some keys back into those centre columns. Uh, but for me, I'm just happy just removing them completely. And then I've got basically the same layout. So I've got my six keys along the bottom uh, and then the same 36 key total layout. And I can use all the modifier settings uh, exactly the same on this as I do on the Moonlander. So it's really cool. So let's just jump into Oryx and have a quick look at this. So basically we're skipping this space bar altogether. We're not uh, using that. We haven't got any key on that. And then we're putting the space here, which is the tap dance space as well. So you hold it down and you get spotlight, which works really well. And we're moving the raise and lower keys just out from their normal position. And then we've got the Alt key and the Control key here. And then we've got the tap dance keys set up for the command version of each key here. So that works really well. And then the lower layer here is again the same as the Moonlander version. We can see most of the symbols are on this layer. The forward delete key here is now a tap dance key. So when you hold that down, it sends Control K. Now this is, I can't believe I've only just discovered this. Uh, I've always wondered why Command for delete doesn't delete the whole line from the, from the cursor to the end, which is the equivalent of Command backspace. That does, you know, deletes the cursor to the start of the line. Why doesn't Command forward delete do the same? Well, it turns out the, the command is actually Control K, so it does exist. Um, so I've set that up as the tap dance hold function for that. So if I just switch to notes, we can see, so I can use my arrow keys as you would normally expect, uh, up, down, left, and right. Now, if you hold down the left and right, you will skip words at a time because that fires the alt version of that. And if you hold down this one, that's command, you can jump to the beginning and end of the line. And then from there, you can do things like delete the whole line from the start just by uh, holding down the forward delete button. Um, and you can undo obviously just by holding down the Z key there uh, in this case. So if I move the cursor to the end, holding down backspace will now just delete the whole line. So that's super useful. Uh, the reason I changed that from the alt version, which I'd done previously, is because actually the backspace key with alt is just so easy to access from the normal layer here. So you can just do alt backspace if you wanted to do that. So I figured we might as well actually uh, do the command version of that when you hold down backspace. Command tab is accessible as well. Um, when you go into layer two, the, the alt key switches to the command key. So you've still got access to command tab. And that also means you can use the command version of these keys, which is super important for working with the Mac because it lets you use the, the tab controls to sort of switch between tabs and uh, history when you're browsing uh, next and previous with this one here as well. And we've got the escape key and the return key in layer two here as well. It's interesting, the position of these keys has become quite uh, important as well. So in Final Cut Pro, when I'm editing, um, these two will zoom the timeline vertically and horizontally, and the pairing of those works quite nicely. So this one is horizontal and this one is uh, vertical zoom. So you can either just do quickly that or that, and that will zoom in the timeline. So that's quite a handy little Mac uh, setup there for the shortcuts. That might well be the same logic in other apps as well. And then we've got the adjust layer, which is basically the mouse control layer um, and some, some sort of settings which are useful like volume and, and media controls and screen brightness, as well as the shift and, and command keys on this layer, which means we can do shift clicking and command clicking even just on this mouse layer. So that's super useful. So I'll link to this layout in the description if you want to uh, check it out for yourself and install it on your own plank. So it's great fun to see the plank like this, but it actually sort of turns into a little mini split keyboard um, with uh, you know much simpler ergonomics and you don't have to worry about using these keys on the corner. I did originally have these set up so that I could just bash them by putting my hand down like that but there's quite a lot of re repeated motion here that I wanted to eradicate um, so I'm quite happy just to get rid of those keys now and stick with this layout. So I can basically just hover in this position with my hands and my wrists are kind of neutral uh, going through this kind of an angle here and that's okay because this sort of works. You can obviously see that there is a slight angle of my fingers over the columns, but that actually works just fine because you can move your fingers in and out like this 
from hovering over this top position and they're still in line with those columns. So that, that works nicely. So just moving them apart slightly just makes it all a little bit more comfortable and, and it's really great to, to see the tiny plank sort of be realized as a, as a nice little split keyboard layout using this ultra minimal layout. So that was just a quick one today and hopefully I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching.